Hey, this is Jones Laughlin. Welcome to Insights from the Jones Zone, where I give you a way to master your week in three minutes or less. One of the uh, um, sadly humorous things we're seeing come out of the current coronavirus outbreak is how people are really struggling on working from home. Uh, we're hearing stories of everything from inappropriately dressing for conference calls to you know not getting any work done at all, and we shouldn't be surprised. We've taken a group of people who are used to working in one physical environment and we've moved them to a completely new environment that often is hostile to getting work done and we expect them to be productive. If you're one of those people who's looking to improve your work from home efficiency or effectiveness, I got four suggestions for you. Of course, they're built around the acronym H-O-M-E. The H is to have clarity. With everything changing, are you clear on the priorities and goals of, of your team, of your organization? And if not, maybe it's time to have that conversation with the person you report to to ask them, what do you see as most important for me to work on while I'm working remotely? And it may be your normal job, but it may be some other things that, that begin showing up that you need to be focusing on instead of your current responsibilities. And with the extra time you may have in your day now because of working remotely, maybe it's a time to move ahead on some projects that you haven't had time for recently. The O is to orchestrate your work environment. Now, you may not have had the most productive work environment when you were physically reporting somewhere else, but now you're at home with a bazillion distractions, and if you're not careful, everything you're trying to get done, it's a push or it's a chore because it's not set up for work. I suggest that you invest some time and maybe even a little bit of money in creating that workspace that works for you, from the right chair to a desk where you can focus to a positioning where you can actually feel creative or productive when you're trying to get things done. The M is to make everyone aware of your plans. Now to make everyone aware of your plans, you got to know what other people's plans are. That means communicating more openly and um, frequently with that, that spouse or significant other that's in the house with you, with your children, and making sure that everybody's plans make sense. It means even talking to your coworkers because they may have children at home and other responsibilities during this time of working remotely. And so how do you all make plans so that you can work together? And are you aware of how the other person's working so you know how to work best with them? The E is to engineer your entire day. A tendency when you're working from home is to go, ah, now that I'm not having to drive to work and some of those other things that are administrative related, I can you know, relax a little bit. And that's true to a degree, but you may find that you stop scheduling things and things start not happening. Then you get distracted by everything else going on at your home. I challenge you to schedule even more than you normally would from the time you get up until the time you go to bed. Yes, schedule those fun things that you want to do with your family. Schedule those things that you want to do for yourself if you've got some extra time in your day. But the key is get it into that schedule so you've got something to follow and you don't start getting sloppy and then putting your, pillow down, uh, putting your head down on your pillow at the end of the day going, oh, I was so busy all day, but I don't feel like I accomplished anything of value. This is Jones Laughlin. While I've offered you these four ways to uh, work more effectively from home, um, I'm happy to help with any other ways that I can in this time of need. Uh, if you're struggling to work from home and want to talk about it, let's do a free coaching session. Simply uh, send me an email and we'll set that up. Uh, at the, my YouTube channel in the Jones Zone section, there's over 200 videos there. They can help you on everything from time management to work-life balance to dealing with change, which certainly is a big topic right now, and also improving as a leader, whether you're working remotely or face-to-face -face with some individuals right now. Most importantly, know that we will get through this. And what's important is that not so much we press pause, but that we figure out how to move forward in this difficult time so we're ready when we come out on the other side. I hope it's a fantastic week for you wherever you may be working. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today in the Jones Zone.